it's even worse than I thought. I just, um, I wasn't planning on making another video at all. I, um, was, uh, checking a couple channels that I do follow, um, on YouTube. And, um, you know how things come up in your feed. And there was, uh, a pastor who I've sometimes, uh, listened to in the past. And I thought, you know, he had his game together, so to speak. And I started, so I, I said, okay, I'll, I'll give this a shot and I'll listen for a few minutes. And I was blown away. Okay, it was a, it was a, a video that was made today. It's not like it was an old video from years ago or something. It was actually made like five, six hours ago. And remember the times we're in. Remember that everything that's happening in the world. You know what this video is about? Keeping your New Year's resolutions from a pastor. Keeping your New Year's resolutions. You know, well, you know, a New Year is fresh and a fresh start. And we all want to keep our New Year's resolutions. And and I'm going to recommend this channel. This, I'm quoting. I'm going to recommend this channel. And he did. And then he showed a clip from the channel. And it was all stick figures. Stick figures. I was just blown away. I left a comment. And then I got out of there. I said, you, you don't know, do you? You just don't know what's happening. Like most most of the people in the church don't know. And I said, well, I, I'm going to make a video about this again. It's something we've talked about before, probably, <laughs> probably ad nauseum. But the thing is, it never ceases to amaze me. They are absolutely blind. And I know why. Because they've bought into the spirit of the world. They are of the world. I mean, what are you talking about all this nonsense for going to gyms and, and um, you know, how you eat, diet? I mean, that is so self-help, guru nonsense. And you're supposed to be preaching about Christ? The end times so that we're in, making people aware? Of the times we are in, and you're talking about New Year's resolutions like it's just a normal year. I will not give you the name because um, I just no. I will not give the name because um, it's too shameful. It's too shameful, and uh, I would love to get have a one-on-one -on -one face to face with this person. If he responds to the comment, I'm going to try. I'm going to try because um, it is so far gone. And I, I think it's universal. I think 95% um, in the churches are not getting it at all. Because, and it's not just because they promoted this. Before this, before this, they embraced the world. The spirit of the world. Nothing to do with Jesus. You know, the talk, stuff they talk about is absolutely mind-boggling. The trivia. But it makes sense. It makes sense considering where we're at and where the churches are at and where the nation's at. But, um, we just <laughs> can't expect anything from them now. We really can't expect anything from these, these pastors, these so-called shepherds, because they're lost. They're, they're lost sheep, so they need a shepherd and they don't even know it.